Hello everyone. The session is on design of a two pass assembler. Now the learning outcomes of this session are to illustrate the design steps of two pass assembler and to organize the data structures for the design. Now what is this two pass structure? It requires two scans of the source program. A scan means one complete read of a particular program. So here we are using two pass which is taking two scans of the program. The advantage is it handles forward references easily and the location counter processing is performed in the first pass and all the symbols whatever we are using those are assembled in pass 1 and the symbol table is generated in pass 1. The second pass is automatically using the generated symbol table and it is synthesizing the target program. This usually this two pass structure is analyzing the program in the first pass which we call it as the analysis phase and the second pass in the second pass it synthesizes the program. See the diagram in this one the pass 1 is reading a source program and pass 2 is generating the target program. During this phase in pass 1 all the data structures are generated as well as the intermediate code is generated and this form we are calling as intermediate representation and pass 2 is reading this intermediate representation and generating the target program. Now the design step of two pass assembler in pass 1 there are four steps it is separating the assembly statements into three parts that is symbol, mnemonic opcode and operand and the symbol table it is building that forms as a second step and the LC processing is performed then the actual construction of the intermediate representation has been done. For pass 2 it is only processing the intermediate representation and it is synthesizing the target program. Let us see the data structures which we have used for pass 1 machine opcode table containing opcode class and opcode length, symbol table it is containing symbol and the addresses, literal table having literal and address and the pool table which is holding the pointers of all the pools which are used for literal table. Consider this example. This program is having all these labels as L1, next, back and X. Then it has mnemonic of course as move R, move M, all the assembler directives also, origin, LT, RG and all. Then the operands, these operands are taken as operand 1 and operand 2, two operands are used. And finally all the location counter values are specified. Let us take this program one by one and process and design the table accordingly. Now the start 200 statement it is allocating a value for the location counter we, we call it as LC so it takes a value as 200 it is not updating any kind of table so here you can see all the tables are only built no entry is there in the table. Now for the second statement that is move R A register equal to 5 now 5 is a literal so for this literal and this 200 is a location counter value so for this the literal table is changed accordingly and the entry is made in this but now we do not have the address of this literal still now so only the blank entry is made for this. Next move M A register X so X is a label X is the uh, operand which we are using so that blank entry of the symbol is made in the symbol table currently the address of that symbol is not known to us so address is blank. The next statement is L1 move RB register 2 see in this case L1 is the label so this label is processed as it means made the entry in the symbol table and as it is a label the correction current location counter value that is 202 is stored as its address and it is processed as well as in the operand field 2 is a literal so that literal we are store we are storing as a literal here. Let us consider the next statement origin L1 plus 3 what this statement does it it assigns a value to the location counter it changes the location counter value. So L1 is already 
we know that is a symbol in the symbol table so it takes the value of l1 as 202 and plus 3 so that that will be the current location counter value now the next statement is ltorg what is this statement it is a literals origin so whatever the literals earlier in the literal table have been stored it those are allocated by this ltorg and the literal pool is currently zero now you can see the address as 205 and 206 are stored here in the literal pool so 5 and 2 are having the address as 2 this these two and the pool table is the next pool is starting with 2 that is the next position of the literal table here next statement again it is holding the label so that label we are making as an entry that is next and the current location counter value is 202 207 so that it it is making the entry in it and one more literal another literal is used here so that literal it is making an entry in the literal table now this statement again similarly it is working so this literal it is storing as a new literal and currently the pool table contains are having this as the new pool table point enter now pause the video and think about the statement how it modifies the symbol table we have this statement see it is making the entry for this symbol back and currently address is not known to us similarly the next statement ltorg which is for literals origin so this statement is again taking the next pool as 2 and it is allocating the memory of 210 and 211 which are the location counter values and those addresses are again written in the literal table and current pool is again starting with the next literal that is the fourth entry as the next pool entry similarly this one the equ statement it is assigning one labels address to another one so l1's value is allocated for back so here back is holding the address as 202 again origin which is allocating the uh, assigning the value to location counter so next plus 5 next is having value 207 so plus 5 that is the value of location counter it is not making any changes in the table Now, similarly the this statement it is having four as a literal so literal table entry is made now for stop no changes are there in the table it has to now this is the declaration statement so x is the variable identifier and one is the memory word allocated for it so currently the location counter value is 214 so that is allocated for x now after the end statement also the literals have to be processed how many literals are left here that is you, we know already fourth uh, pointer so fourth literal that is uh, literal at fourth position that is this one is allocated after the end statement what is the current location counter value that is after this statement that is 215 so that is also allocated accordingly so this is a working of two pass assembler thank you